Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about rolling. Now, on the car, the panels, they all need forming. Now, we're doing this on the wheeling machine and pressing, they need pre-forming. And you do that with a set of rollers. Now, the thing is, things like this, I've been after a set of rollers for ages and I need them at least two meters long because this is 1.8 meters long. But the problem is, they're quite a thin diameter bar or roller, which you need because of thicker diameter, they won't roll. So I thought, oh, they'd be ideal. But the problem is, they won't work because over that length in 1.6 alley, they will roll there tight, they'll roll there tight, and there they won't. Now, this was done on my small, so you can see. It ain't that big. But if you look down there, and that's called the canoe effect. Like I say, it's tight there, it's tight the other end, but it then just shallows out. They can form, you know, push this in by hand. But the thing is, over that length, it ain't going to work that well. So, especially like here as well, it tapers. And on the floor, the sill, that tapers as well. So this is where I've got the problem. What do I do? If I can't find the rollers, you can't buy them, then you've got to make them. So I've come up with this idea. Now, conventionally, you have the pinch bend rollers, which is a roller here, a roller here, which they pinch together and they hold your material. One goes that way, one goes that way, your material goes in here. Now, You've got another roller that moves up and down. And that material goes on there. So the further you move that up there, the more that radius gets deeper. So you can turn it into a circle or whatever you want to do. And the thing is, I don't need to do circles and stuff like that, you know, like tubes. And the thing is, these are usually for thin material. But the problem is, even if you were to get that as tight as possible to there, it would still spring back because that's what material does. Alley, steel, anything that wouldn't, you'd probably lead. But that ain't really gonna work because then you get that bowing effect because the longer it is, the worse that will be. So, another type of roller is the pyramid rollers. Now they, Go that way and put the ore, then they can go that way. The material goes through there, rolls this goes up and down. The more you do it, but this is for thick plate. So, I'll show you what these are. This looks like this. And this pyramid one. Looks like this. But they're not going to work. So I've come up with an idea. Just say I had a roller there, a roller there, and a roller there. You think, well, that's just a pyramid roller. No. Comes there, comes there, comes there, comes there, comes there, comes there. So it's capacity, you're thinking. No. Now the rollers can go up and down, up and down, up this channel, up and down. They're all independent, all of them. But if they're independent on the other side, you'll have this effect. So with the pyramid rollers, they're like that, and the back one just comes up. I have seen where they come up slightly, but don't really make a difference. This, they can come up like that, and one down like that. But the difference with this, the rollers can go like that. All the bottom ones 
can go like that. Now this, so you can have two like that, and then one like that, and that will virtually be flat that side, and then really curved at the end, so it can give you a taper. So, this is what I'm thinking. If I can do that, if I can make all these, if I can make all these independent, then I can, it can be really versatile. The other problem is that these have to be the two driving wheels. Now, because they're moving up and down, that's changing. So I have to work out how I can get them driving all the time when a wheel's up here, because that distance is going to change. They might be both up here, then that distance is going to change. So how do I drive them? I haven't worked that out yet, but I will. Now, the thing is, the rolls, because that's the sort of diameter that I'm after, like I say, that will bend. It bends back into shape, but if you put a bit of material there, it will bend, but it will roll it fine, and then it will just pop back into shape. To think, to stop that from bending, I want to put carriages, what I'd call them carriages, there, there, and there, so you've got to push against that. And they'll be on wheels, so it'll roll round, but, and if they're adjustable as well, but the material start the canoe, then you can push that up and bend them basically the other way so the material actually sort of comes good. Now that's the theory anyway. Thing is, I didn't want to waste time making this machine, but I don't think I've got any choice. So, if you see this video on YouTube, Chances are I've made it. And if you don't see it on YouTube, then I didn't get around to it and it didn't work. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And um, hopefully I can make more of these videos.